Hey guys, Marvin here again. So Podio is a very great tool to have. It can build a lot of stuff and automations that just basically can help you systemize and run your day-to-day -day business process. However, just like any other system, Podio has its own um, technical limitations. So one limitation that I kind of just uh, find annoying is that whenever I have um, lots of comments inside an app, there's a loading time for me to scroll through back to my previous comments for it. As you can see there. So it just took me a few seconds uh, to load the history of comments for this specific item because I don't have much um, comments yet on this item. But if you have more than a month um, worth of comment for this item, it takes a while, especially if you're um, accessing your Podio and mobile. Now, a solution that I came up with is to basically just have a log field uh, as inside my app, just so when I open the item, it immediately um, loads all the fields information, including the log field, so I don't have to wait um, and scroll through the comments area just to view the logs on the specific um, item. So, all right, so if you're interested in implementing this on your Podio setup, let's get started. So, of course, first things first, you will need to create a, another field on your app, which will be a multi-line text field, as you can see on my screen. You can name it um, however you like. I name mine logs. Some people name it history logs or communication logs. Doesn't matter. And then of course we'll need to create a flow in Globiflow. So you'll need to log into your Globiflow, um, click on your refresh from Podio, and then go to your app to create the flow. So the trigger for the flow will be when a comment is added um, in an item in an app. So when a comment is added, first thing I wanted to do is to filter the comment. I want to push only the comments that begins with log. So the code for that is S-T-R-I-P-O-S, open parenthesis, triggering comment is a token. So you can find it here. Just search for triggering comment and then click on that. And then you can follow it through with a comma, open code, log, close code, close parenthesis, space, triple equal sign. So that's equal, 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 space, zero. This means that, hey, um when a comment is added in an item in an app check if this comment begins with log if it begins with log do the action if it not if it doesn't um don't do anything so let me show it to you so i added a comment here but it didn't go to my logs field because it does not begin with log but when I add a comment that begins with log, the logs uh, field change, which added the log in here. So I wanted to point out that if you just basically want all your comments pushing through the uh, log field, just um, don't create this filter at all, okay? All right, so moving on to the actions first, um, that I want to do here is I created a new variable to for me to format the date so I want to have the date formatted um, day first and then the month and then the year and then the hour and then the minute so that's gonna be um, date and then open parenthesis um, single code D slash M slash Y space H colon i and then single quote followed by s-t-r-t-o-t-i-m-e open um, parenthesis and then current date as a token which is you can just search here current date or you can use this one either one um either will work and then closing parenthesis and then another, another closing parenthesis all right and then finally we want to update this log so you will pull the update flow and then of course you want to update the logs field so if 
find your large field in here and this will default as value but you'll need to get calc and on the call um we here is we where we will style the logs so it could be bolded on the date in the common creator and then there's a horizontal line underneath each of the log so at the beginning you would want you would want to open you would want to have an open code and then a less than sign and then strong then closing sign and then sing uh, double quote and then a dot and then your variable date formatted which is basically the one on top all right and then dot and then open quote again space by space closing the code and then another dot and then the comment creator name that's another token you can pull it from the mini box at the right hand side and then another dot open code less than sign again slash strong closing um or greater than sign space dash space um less than sign b and then r slash greater than sign closing quote and then another dot and then the triggering comment which is the content of your comment um, that's another token so you can pull it from the um, small box and then dot open code again another br sign so that's less than b less than sign br slash greater than sign and then eight the hr sign which will be the horizontal line so that's um less than sign hr slash um, greater than sign close code dot um, and then the leads log which is basically the um, initial content of this log field so you click on here the logs field right here all right so that's pretty much it um, save the flow and um, try it out see if it works for your end all right thank you very much